I've got a piece of original artwork uh, from Marvel Comics, Spider-Man. Mind if I turn it around? No, absolutely. It's 40 years old. It was a comic strip printed uh, for the newspapers back in 1977. All right, The Amazing Spider-Man. It's pretty racy, actually. You have Mary Jane yeah, in the yeah, bathtub. Yeah, and 40 years ago, it was. Looks like she's inviting Spider-Man yeah. over for a little well, extracurricular activity. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a great fan of Marvel Comics, and the two greatest living legends of Marvel Comics are Stan Lee and John Romita. I met John Romita, and I purchased this strip directly from him. He had a collection of several strips that he had published, and he showed them to me, and this one was my favorite. I by far and away, and I had to have it, so I purchased this from him. Yeah, this is pretty cool. You know, quite the team. Stanley would write it and come up with a little script and the idea, and then Ramita would pencil it in and color it, and um, it would become this uh, iconic comic strip. Absolutely. Characters like Spider-Man always hold close to kids, you know? They think, I'm just a normal kid, you know, going through my daily life struggles. Maybe one day I, too, can be a superhero, you know? Obviously struck a chord with millions. Yeah, you know, and uh, Stan Lee had a lot to do with that. When you think of Marvel, you think of Stan Lee. I think Spider-Man was maybe a second character they created. First, they created Fantastic Four, and that was, like, kind of an answer to DC's Justice League of America. I mean, and then it just grew from there. So how'd you get the signatures on there? Well, when I bought this from Mr. Amita, I had him sign it for me, so I got his signature right away. And about 20 years ago at a uh, show, Stan Lee was there, and uh, I had met him then, and I had brought this with, and uh, he signed it for me then. All right, that's pretty cool. So what would you like to do with it? Uh, well, my wife has an upcoming uh, surgery scheduled, and uh, I could use a little bit of uh, money for the family, and so I thought I'd bring it in and see if you were interested. OK. How much do you want for this? Well, I've been the only owner of it from for decades. Uh, I estimate it to be in the eight to ten thousand dollar range. Okay. Um, before I pay that kind of money for it, I'm gonna need to get it authenticated. These are two iconic signatures. This is an iconic comic. I mean, it's Spider-Man, and I mean the strip itself is pretty freaking cool. When you think of Spider-Man, you don't really think of this type of artwork or this type of um, conversation. I think there's someone that can help us in town right now. You want to meet me down at the Marvel Avengers station? Sure. Perfect. Perfect. All right. See you down there. Thank you. Chum wants me to meet him later to get the piece authenticated. I know he's looking at the signatures and at the artwork itself as being original. I don't know who he believes we could meet over there that knows more about the piece, but we'll see. We had a comic strip come into the shop. It's a Spider-Man comic strip from the 70s, signed by Stan Lee. So I'm headed down to the Avengers station on the strip right now to meet the creator of Spider-Man, the one and only Stan Lee himself. That's a nice Iron Man suit. Thank you. Do you have one, too? I would have wore a Spider-Man suit, Spider but yeah. it's getting a little tighter than it's supposed to be uh. these days. <laughs> Chumley. Hey. Sorry, excuse me. How you doing? Are you just cutting everyone? Sorry. No. <laughs> I thought I was supposed to meet you outside. I know, I know. All right, you brought it. So how much do you want for this again? I was looking to get 10000 for it, Chum. You know, if he authenticates it as real, I think I could, I think I could pay you like 3500 for it. Oh. I don't think it's worth quite 10000 Maybe on a good day I could get that. Mary Jane in a bathtub? Come on. I'll tell you what, I get eight. 8000 how about 4200 I mean, that's a lot of money. And With the snappy banner from Stanley, come on. Rock bottom off for 5000 You know, even if I buy this from you, I still have to get it authenticated. All right, if he says it's real, I'll do 5000 Sounds good. We'll do on a shake on a deal. All right. Hopefully All right. he says it's real. Mr. Lee meets Mr. Lee. I mean, this is a great iconic moment. I can't wait. Hey, how you Hi doing, there. Mr. Lee? Glad to see you. Yeah. Hi, what brings you into town? Oh, well, they hadn't seen me in a long time, and I couldn't deprive the people of Las, Las Vegas. Yeah, Las Vegas. From seeing me. <laughs> What's this pin you have on here? That's my um, respect pen. The whole purpose of it is to try to get the people of different colors to start respecting each other more. And instead of hostility, to have friendship. And um, I'm doing my best, and I hope others will wear the pin and do their best, too. I like that. I feel like I've always got that message to your comics anyways. Tried. <laughs> I had a quick question for you, if you don't mind. I'll give you a quick answer. All right, I have this comic strip oh, here. Oh, wow. Oh, this brings back memories. 
John Romita drew it. He's wonderful. What we really loved about it was the snappy dialogue. Well, that's my dialogue. <laughs> Obviously, it's going to be good. <laughs> Wondering if you remember, if you noticed that signature. I have a special lens here. Yeah, yeah. That's my signature. So that is your signature, huh? Oh, no doubt about it. Whose is it? Yours? That's what You're I a lucky it. guy. Hey, we'll appreciate it. It was a pleasure seeing you. Good Thanks, luck Stan. to you. Frame it <laughs> carefully. Stanley has authenticated the piece. 5,000. All right, it's a good deal. And I've made my deal with Chumley. All in all, meeting both of the Lees has really been a great day for me, and uh, I'm very happy. Mr. Brown and I got along famously. <laughs> Why he tittled through a pass? I caught the ball myself. It's got a name engraved on it. How did you end up with this? Sounds so fun.